A wealthy oil and gas man is looking to make an impact in the governor's race. Steve Wells from Weld County is running ads against Democratic Governor Jared Polis. He's filling a void because Polis's Republican opponent, Heidi Gannall, has so little money, she isn't even airing campaign ads right now. Prepare your eardrums as we truth test this ad. Polis's policies fail voters. I don't know what we're yelling about! I don't know either. But I do know we can put this ad to the truth test with the help of the classic scene from Anchorman. Colorado's high crime rate affects everyone. That is a scientific fact! It is a fact. Rising crime has a staggering cost, direct costs like insurance and taxpayer-funded medical care, indirect costs like lost wages and quality of life. A conservative think tank pegged the cost in Colorado at $31 billion in 2021. But many measures of crime rose nationwide not just in Jared Polis's Colorado. Young voters are getting crushed by Jared Polis's bad policies. Many are even finding it hard to put gas in their car. You're with us, Ron. What do you think? I think it's absurd to blame Jared Polis for the global increase in gas prices. But Polis did plan to increase gas fees by two cents a gallon. Then he delayed his own fee hike when gas prices went up during this election year. Can we really trust Polis? And, and everybody's going to hate us when we cause a recession. I mean, come on, Ed, it's bull crap. Yeah, yeah, it is. The ad is using a video clip posted 14 years ago where a young Jared Polis talks about selling a business during the dot-com boom. Hey, speaking of booms, this ad has one more for you. Help Colorado find its way again. Fire Polis. No! Vote Heidi Ganahl. Perhaps you recognize the voice hollering at you there in the ad. That's the voice of former prosecutor and Nine News political analyst, now turned talk radio host, George Brockler.